Several young Malaysians became victims of a human trafficking syndicate after being lured with telemarketing and customer service job offers in Cambodia and the promise of a lucrative pay. Some of the victims are physically abused if they do not perform, and men armed with guns guard the building they are kept captive in. MCA Public Services and Complaints Department head Dato Sri Michael Chong on Wednesday said some of the victims, including girls as young as 17. However, he said there were no reports of sexual abuses so far. I want to alert uh, Malaysian, fellow Malaysian, uh, all these young people, uh, young, young people, and now also many of the victims are all these young girls. Uh, uh, please, if you respond for any job, please be very careful because there's a, there are scammer now. This scammer, what they do is that they will promise you a you know, high pay job, very high pay one, and uh, once you accept the job, some will go through of course, we'll go to, with passport, we'll go through by air, and some go through Lorong Tikus. And I know m most of my victims here, many go through Lorong Tikus. They will offer you a very high pay job. Uh, the victim told me uh, either they respond from this advertisement, Facebook advertisement, or they come directly to recruit you. In other words, they come and uh, you know, offer you this uh, high pay job. And once you take it over there, I have already shown proof to you all. You work there, it's not a normal job, but you are forced by all this uh, syndicate to do the, all this cheating job. And if you are Malaysian, you will, you will be given a laptop to cheat the Malaysian. And if you didn't do well, and if you couldn't cheat any money or thing, you will be beaten up. Chong said his department has received more than 10 cases seeking help, but only two have been rescued. He added that the two victims are in the immigration detention centre because they have overstayed and went there without proper documentation. A mother, known only as Wong, said her 24-year-old son had told her that he was going to Penang to work at the hotel. However, a few days after arriving in Cambodia, he revealed the truth to her. When the first communication he, I got from him is, he said he's, he, he's now in Cambodia. That's what he said. Uh. Then uh, he was so frightened because he said, this building is locked up. All people was, uh, the entrance is guarded with gunmen. So there's no way to out of this building. That's why he told me. Was your son... Uh he, 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 he is away, he's, he's going to the country and um, he, he thought he said he, he's traveled there to a car. So how to travel there to a car, I don't know. But he said he was in a black car, he's fully black, he cannot see outside along throughout the journey. Lah. And there's no way out for them to like rest in, in the halfway. It's like sit in the car until the, they, they reach the place. He said he got a reference uh, from a friend. I'm so, a friend. Yeah, he, he very he sounds like a very look up to this uh, little young man, younger than him a lot. So he say he's very intelligent, uh, and then he say this this job is very good pay. So he follow his friend. Now, what wh were he mistreated? I think did he tell you anything about that? So far, he he didn't. So far, uh, it's okay. They only deduct his pay. They give him pay. And he, he couldn't he couldn't do any sales at, at the moment and they already sell him to another company and he didn't make it any still not open any build yet la. so he's afraid that they're going to sell him to another company and if the the more company he's been thrown to the longest he have to be there this is so one company to one company you are telling that he's, he has been he told you that huh? yeah, yeah. so he said that there's no way out for him so he have to work and he couldn't make it he don't know he he heard just around because there's a lot of people so i i believe he he, he heard about all the terror fearful things uh. so he says some is beaten up 
so it cannot against them. Horrible, like just what you all said, that, just like the father shared. Another parent, who wanted to be known only as Eng, said his 18-year-old son was taken to the country through an illegal route. Chong estimated that there are at least 100 victims there and said he's working closely with the police to help the victims. A victim told Chong that there were some 50 Malaysians held captive in the same premises as him. And I can reach at them, but now we all uh, put in a different place already, not like the like night before. But a lot, a lot of the new guys also coming here. Now around, I think, more than 50 people. Chong said the Malaysian police are working with the Interpol and can only help those who lodge a report. Added that some victims or their family who are unaware of the situation have not lodged a report. He urged victims who are able to run away to go to the embassy or to the nearest Malaysian company in Cambodia to seek help. Chong said he has also written to Foreign Minister Tato Sri Saifuddin Abdullah on March 3rd to seek his help to rescue those who have fallen prey to the syndicate. He has yet to receive a response. Chang advised job seekers to consult their family and friends before accepting offers, saying he feared that the syndicates will be more active once the borders reopen.